Assembly Member Garrett, please. Hello. Just on this topic of healthy streets, obviously a typical component of a healthy street is a 20 mile an hour speed limit, which of course would apply to buses as well as all other traffic. Um, TfL don't automatically adjust the bus timetable when that happens, and obviously we now have very widespread 20 mile an hour limits, which you know it's not one or two small areas. It's you know TLRN is increasingly uh, 20 mile an hour. What bus drivers tell me is that puts undue pressure on them to try to hit a timetable that's no longer legally achievable because of the new lower speed limits. Um, that isn't a recipe for a healthy street, is it? I speak regularly to bus operators uh, and bus drivers. And that's, I, I've not been told that uh, in relation to that effect in uh, timetables. I'm happy to take that away. Uh, my understanding is that actually the 20 miles per hour limits don't really affect uh, the, the speed of the journey of buses. You'll be aware of the bus lanes, and we've got more bus lanes now across uh, our city. Um, but that's new to me in relation to the 20 miles per hour effect in bus timetables, and it's very new to me. Bus driver has been worried about that as a consequence of that, but I can take that away if, if, if that's what you. And I'm more than happy to speak to you offline about any particular concerns on routes. Well, I appreciate not every single MQ that gets submitted, especially the written ones you personally review, but I have asked several written questions about this before, and the response that I've had back is to the effect that there's no automatic process of reviewing bus timetables when there's a change of speed limit. Uh, and the process amounts to a sort of wait and see approach of seeing if it's no longer achievable in practice and then adjusting it if necessary. What bus drivers tell me is what that amounts to, that, you know, in the real world, out away, of, away from sort of a, you know, a theoretical world, what it means in practice is they get a long period where they're pressured to try to meet a timetable that they just can't meet. So it means, you know, all of the ways that they can save time, none of them are very legal or safe, you know, aggressive driving, uh, maybe not, not following the speed limit, or also curtailing the brakes that they're supposed to have at the end of each route. So I have written to, this, to you about this before. I mean, presumably you would agree with me that, you know, if you, if you, if you take a mile of a route across a route and you knock it down from 30 to 20, you know, that's going to take, a, that's going to add an extra minute. So logically, it would make sense to add a minute to the timetable. Well, we're assuming in this hypothetical situation that a bus is travelling without stopping during that period of time. Anybody who's been on a bus in London knows that's not the case. And so I'm more than happy to take this away in relation to journey times. That's not the evidence we have in relation to aggressive driving, uh, brakes being shorter than otherwise uh, should be. I also speak regularly with trade unions who represent the bus drivers. Nobody said that to me in relation to bus drivers have an inadequate break times between uh, journey times. But again, I can take that away. And okay. if you can, get, can provide me details, I'll more than happy look into it. I'd be happy for you to do that. In the, in the meantime, would you be able to send me what you understand as the process for you know, reviewing timetables or, or whatever the process is, when, particularly when there's a large element of 20 mile an hour introduced in an area? Sure, happy to, I'm, sure that, I'm more than happy to respond to the uh, member offline. Thank you, uh, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Chair.